Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And yes, you see a new icon with a different hair color once again. Yes, recently I actually just dyed my hair into a purple color again. And actually it's one of my favorite colors to dye my hair, but that's not what we're here to talk about. But what I am gonna talk about is a situation that I haven't talked about in a long time of a content creator that I no longer like anymore. The last time I talked about it was Jake Monroe and wow I didn't realize how much it blew up a little bit on my channel okay maybe it doesn't have a million views on it but it really got into people to check out my channel a little bit after that video so and it's not the first video where that's happened to me Again, we're not here to talk about that. The person we're going to be talking about is actually somebody in the animation and movie review community because, oh my fucking God, is this person a piece of work to deal with? Literally. <laughs> There was a time where I actually used to like this content creator for just reviewing movies and TV shows that were specifically animated. And that's all he talked about. Yes, he still does that, but here is the problem with his newer reviews now. The problem for one, and this is the main problem, is that he is way too politically motivated. And when I say way too politically motivated, and I mean a lot, he talks about it a lot with almost every fucking video he makes. So you're probably wondering, well, is he uh, more of the blue or the red when it comes to politics? Uh, for one, definitely blue. I mean, just from his shirt alone. <laughs> but no, no jokes aside, he is definitely a hardcore liberal. And oh, yikes, that's just as bad as to deal with that as much as the hardcore Republicans because my God, this guy does not shut the fuck up when it comes to his views. And well, I'm going to talk about it because he especially loves to get politically motivated on Twitter. And I'm going to show you screenshots and tell me if you think that he's gone too far with his views. Where do I even begin? First of all, this guy has a real hate boner for people who are quote unquote not woke or not woke enough. I don't know what to say about that, Matt. Which, by the way, that's his actual name, uh, specifically Matt Burnett. The fact that he's going off on posts that when those are not woke for the public, he gets real bitchy about it. And when I mean bitchy about it, he, like, will bash online about people who are slightly conservative or even conservative altogether. Does that mean he is right about all of it? No. I'm going to explain why because there's actually one situation I actually looked into that one of the screenshots was about the CEO of Warner Brothers and Discovery that officially uh, decided to resign, I believe, as the CEO of Warner Brothers and Discovery. Um, I'm actually going to leave two articles about the whole situation down in the description below to prove my point because in one of the tweets, Adam literally said a tweet against David Zaslov literally pointing out to Twitter saying, Animators and animation fans can unite to fight against David Zaslov. How awesome does that sound? If you want to join the fight, sign this petition to help get Warner Bros. Animation and Cartoon Network unionized. And there's the link right down below. Um, here's the problem with that post right there. I actually made a reply about the whole situation. This is what you're gonna find once you click the link. Bruh. I don't even know what to say right there. It's pretty sussy to me. Hmm, what's going on right there? I don't know if the website decided to take it down, whether it was 
harassment or the fact that Matt took it down because it was probably not what it all said. But of course, he's not going to tell you because I looked at the two articles that I put down in the description below. The main reason of what really happened. So GQ actually made an article about him basically bashing the guy out from left to right. And now that article is gone because... Um, one person actually did not like how it was edited and how it was worded, basically. So, wanted to uh, re-edit everything. And GQ just decided to delete everything that the article said and basically wiped it off from their website. And so, the other news outlets online that wrote articles about that situation has even commented that GQ got it all completely wrong. And I'm at, wouldn't you want to tell people that? Oh, wait, you're the guy that doesn't want to admit he's wrong. Oh, yeah, we need to have another issue with this guy. This guy d has a really, has a real ego when it comes to his beliefs and how much he wants to be pretty much right about everything, even if he's wrong. So this is one example right here, another one that I've had the screenshot if you want to look at here again. And this is about the Snow White remake that they're going to do by changing the actress, even though the project was basically already done. Um, so about all of that, so Huey Two More is actually another content creator I actually do like. I do subscribe to him on YouTube, who actually is a more thought out animation reviewer more than Animat, in my opinion, and literally said this comment. And of course, Matt decided to basically be a dick to Huey by saying, Of course you like that because you watch that kind of content and believe in those conspiracies. Just like how you view John Lasseter more positively than Bob Iger, right, Logan? I don't even know what to say right there. Now, granted, Huey, if you don't know, has changed his mind about John Lasseter. And honestly, I can see why Huey Two More doesn't work with you anymore. Because with that kind of attitude, that's really fucked up. It just makes you more of a dick than everybody else that's been posting about the whole thing right here on Twitter. If that doesn't make you look like a dick, I don't know what does. Oh, but there's more to this. Another person that Animat loves to bash on to is Elon Musk. Now, whether you like the guy or not, you uh, whatever you th think about him owning Twitter now, that's irrelevant. But what it is relevant right here is how... Basically, the false updates that he put, what's going on with Twitter, um, he mainly made a post recently saying, Here's a recap of the updates that Elon wants to do on Twitter. Remove headlines from article links, which he just did. Remove the block feature. Put up a paywall for everyone. And his latest idea, remove the action buttons like fly and RT and their counts. So here's the original post on that situation, he said. Let's be real. The site is coming more useless every day because of these decisions. There's no point to having a platform here because even the big numbers we get here are a lie. There's nothing to lose anymore if you choose to quit. So here's a reply that somebody actually believes in. And this is what Matt also said after that. He says, technically, they're not removing the feature. They're removing the buttons and replace them with actions like swiping and double tapping. It's just to make the app more complicated for everyone. I haven't seen really much of that. I just know that Twitter now, it used to be when you went to explore Twitter you could see where it said tweets and the type of media like videos and all that. Now it just says posts and media. I know that's definitely changed. Whole repost or retweet really hasn't gone away. I And I know this because I use Twitter plenty of times to look and you could still like things. I mean, it's a heart button now, but you can still do that and still repost as they say it now on X. I'm sorry to just feels weird. I'm still going to call it Twitter, even though it is called X now.
I mean, some things, how their wording has changed, but as far as using the feature, not a whole lot. I mean, yes, there's still very controversial Twitter accounts still. They're like, it was in the past, but that doesn't mean that the almost the whole entire concept has completely gone away. And this is my other problem. Matt knows this, and he's definitely not addressing it because he wants to have the mindset of, Oh, well, I'm right, and you're wrong, so you're gonna have to believe me no matter what. No, bitch. That's not how that works. We can clearly see it with our eyes, Google it, or do research ourselves. We don't need you as a reliance for all of that. So another example that's actually outside of Twitter is actually on his YouTube channel alone. So there was one video that literally made me quit subscribing to him all completely because believe it or not, even with all the controversy for many years, I still was subscribed to him because I was at least thinking, you know what, maybe he should still have some um, precise criticism, you know, and some respect to the people. <laughs> No, not at all. You would think so, but no. So he did a video called The History of Bob Chapek, Disney's Worst CEO. And uh, yeah, he's just calling out that the CEO is not woke or woke enough. And he's being quote unquote problematic. Ugh. Those were his biggest issues on him in that video. And wow, is it a bad take? It's a really bad take. It's just more politically driven on how far of a leftist he is mainly. And the last things I want to talk about is the five videos that basically pretty much talking what's wrong with Anima. And they're all really good videos. I left them all down in the description if you want to see us. So one of those videos, I actually left a comment out, SMBD12. Um, So yeah, he actually made a really good video on what's wrong with anime. And mainly, it's exactly what I was just thinking too. He's just too politically driven. And I talked about a very serious thing that actually was very concerning. I had no idea about. And this is what he said. Number one, he forces his ideologies on our people. If you have one different opinion, he will silence you, he will shut you up, and he'll say messed up mean things like go kill yourself or something. Number two, he is a hypocrite. He kept supporting all of his left blue stuff, calling himself like the hero and stuff, and that they're the good guys, and he's really hypocritical. He really does like to say that he's a proud liberal. He just really likes to say that. And he always says that the red groups are always violent and stuff like that, and stupid and dumb and not human and have no hope of saving and won't be missed if they're gone when they get replaced. Not just that, but he really says a lot of hate speech. He says they're haters, they just make hate, but honestly, he's literally spreading hate too. Matt, have you ever looked at what you say? You basically say hate too, so if anything, you're not that different from the others. If anything, I think you're worse, Matt. And then he also treats Walt Disney like he's like a messiah or some crap. Even though, let's remember Walt Disney let Nazis in his park. Like, oh, if it's a Republicans doing it, that's bad. But if it's the liberals, then that's totally okay. Oh, they're just stupid. And, you know, he just keeps going, like, oh, I'm the better guy. He tries to act like he's the man. Like at one time, Scott got harassed by a bunch of idiots because Scott Coffin had a different belief. And, and later on, Matt's like, oh, no, you people, you guys are acting like child too. Yeah, sure, Scott is a stupid, um, idiot, white supremacist guy. But you guys are just bad. Like, what the frick? Matt, this is stupid. You know, you're also being an idiot, Matt. Like, I feel bad for Scott, honestly. I really do feel bad for Scott. So, yeah, with all that information, um, especially with the very last one of Scott Codhon, I hope I'm saying his last name right, that legitimately angered me to the max. Because when you are harassing somebody for a different belief than you, not to mention his wife was pregnant when all the this shit was going on. I had no idea all this happened until recently this year, not too long ago. And now it made me even more angry at Adam Matt for what he has done. Hey, I guess him and that creepy reading have that all in common too. Oh yeah, by the way, they did a video together on 12 animated movies. I believe it was this one right here. Uh, the fact that he worked with him makes much more sense now than ever. And mind you, this these clips I'm showing you here, that was from almost eight months ago as I am recording this. This is a more recent video of the issues with Animat. Now, 
there's also four other videos that talks about against him and they all do a great job but i wanted to just show you that highlight right there of what's wrong with animat and the fact that he leaves out certain facts intentionally tells me he is more interested in wanting to be right than wanting to just own up and just admit that he was wrong. Let me tell you right here, there's plenty of YouTubers who do this shit nowadays and it pisses me off. You wanna know why I like YouTubers like Blair White? Because whether you like all of her political views or not, she has admitted she, there's been times she has fucked up. Same thing with Repsion, same thing with Plagued Mom, same thing with other content creators I like. Because you know why? They realize they're human too. And that's the other problem with Animat. He does not, for some reason, when it comes to basic human emotions, it's he's very black and white about it on whether he feels like it is validated or not. He doesn't see any mixed sides or any mixed reactions. And that's another problem, too. If you are this radical in your thinking all the time, you're not a happy person. And that's my issue as well. I don't think he's as happy as he comes out on camera, even though he dresses like a happy fucking clown. I mean, seriously, I never... I don't usually say this about a YouTuber, but dude, get rid of the goddamn orange fedora. That's one of the worst looking hats. Sorry, but again, that's the least of my problems. And also, somebody also had an issue with just changing his name to Anima instead of his Electric Dragon 505 username. Honestly, I don't care. That's one issue I don't have. If he wants to still keep it, that's fine. What do you guys all think? In conclusion, this guy's a major hypocrite. If you are somebody that's been harassed by him, I am so sorry. And to Huey Tumor, if you are watching this, I'm sorry you had to deal with this guy. I really do because I know you're actually a pretty damn good person. Wish nothing bad happening to you. Just wish for the best for you. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, you can like the video if you want to. And yeah... I also have my link tree down below if you want to look at all my social media and my art shops. I hope everybody's having a good day. Peace out.